The following video will present the essential knee exam for the internist. The best way to master the knee exam is to always perform it in the same order. We will start with inspection or observation and then move on to palpation. The knee is palpated first in full extension where we focus on the patellar exam. Then we test for range of motion and crepitus before we finish palpating the knee at 90 degrees of flexion, which is best for palpating the joint line and other medial and lateral structures. The provocative tests will include tests for stability of the four major ligaments using the varus and valgus stress test, anterior and posterior drawer tests, and Lachman's test. Finally, we will end with the meniscal tests, which include McMurray's, Thessaly's, and squat tests. Observe the patient walking and look for an antalgic or varus or valgus gait. So we're going to start with inspection. Um, and the first thing I'm going to look for is uh, symmetry, uh, making sure the quads are the same symmetric bulk. And then looking for the alignment, whether there's a varus or valgus deformity. He has normal alignment. Okay. And looking for scars, erythema, or swelling. I'm going to start by palpating for an effusion, and I'm going to first milk the fluid that may be in the knee up into the suprapatellar pouch, and then push down to feel for any fluid or fluid wave, and there's no effusion. And now I'm going to palpate starting from the top to the bottom, so we're going to palpate the quad tendon, superior pole of the patella, down the patella to the inferior pole, patellar tendon, and then tibial tuberosity. And then I'm gonna feel for the medial facet, lateral facet, and the movement of the patella. And now we're gonna do the patellar grind test. So I'm gonna have the patient lock their knee, tighten their quad, and relax. And then we're going to go ahead and put some pressure and have you do that again. Does that hurt? No pain there. Now we're going to finish palpating with the knee flexed at 90 degrees. In order to get there, we're going to check the range of motion first. So first I'm going to lift the leg to see if there's any hyperextension, which there's not, and then actively have the patient bend the knee as much as they can. So bend your knee as far as you can go. Okay, and he's got full active range of motion. If he did not, I would do some passive range of motion to see if I can get him further. And then I do a little bit of flexion and extension to feel for crepitus over the patella and then we'll put them at 90 degrees. So we're gonna start first by feeling for the medial joint line. So I'm gonna find that space here between the femur and the tibia and follow the space along the joint line all the way to the back. We're also gonna feel for the medial collateral ligament for any tenderness there. And then below the joint line on the medial tibia, we're gonna feel for the pes anserine bursa any tenderness there. Now we're gonna to switch to the lateral side and feel for the lateral joint line. And we're gonna follow that all the way around to the back, the posterior aspect. We're gonna feel along the lateral collateral ligament and then the IT band on the lateral thigh for any tenderness or pain as it goes down to Gertie's tubercle. And you can sometimes do a little bit of flexion and extension over this to feel for any tenderness or crepitus as you're moving back and forth. We're going to switch now to the drawer test to test for the ligaments. I'm going to sit down on the patient's foot and put my fingers along the joint line here and use my hand to try to pull the tibia forward and push back. So, anterior drawer, posterior drawer, and there's no instability. Now we're going to do the Lachman test uh, with the knee at 30 degrees. So I'm going to bring the leg down to 30 degrees, have the patient relax. Grab the femur, and with the other hand, I'm going to pull the tibia forward and try to do anterior translation of the tibia, which is negative. And now we're going to do varus and valgus stress test. So we're going to go ahead and just unlock the knee, okay? And we're going to push one way and pull in the opposite direction. So I'm going to do the valgus test first, so I'm going to try to test the MCL, and I'm going to push and pull to see if there's any opening of that joint. And then we can do it again at 30 degrees to test the anterior fibers of the MCL. Switch hands and we're gonna do the varus stress test. Okay, so I'm going to pull in and push the knee out to try to check if the lateral collateral ligament's intact. Now we're gonna do McMurray's to test for the menisci. I'm gonna flex the knee up, 
cup the heel with my hand and put my fingers along the joint line. Okay, I'm going to start with a little bit of internal and external rotation of the tibia. Okay, and then I'm going to do a little extension to try to catch that meniscus and see if I can feel a painful pop. Rotate and extend. Rotate, extend. Now we're going to do Thessaly's test. So I'm going to have the patient stand on his left leg. Hold my hands. You're going to bend down about 30 degrees and you're going to twist side to side to see if any of that causes any pain in your knee. Now we're going to do the squat test. So I'm going to have the patient bend down to about 90 degrees and then come back up and see if that hurts his knee. Any pain with that? 